Hello friends, the latest buzzword is AIML nowadays, Artificial Intelligence, Machine Learning. Beat online shopping, music, Instagram Reels, Swiggy, Ola, Uber, every organization using AIML to predict your tests or your future demand. What video or song you want to watch or listen, it is predicted with the help of a trend AIML computer algorithm by noticing your past behavior or tests and served to you. You cannot notice. The AI application secretly works in the background to know your behavior. Likewise, industries or a process plant cannot be kept deprived of not using AIML. But here, the scope of AIML is a bit different from commercial sector and fetches more financial revenue than commercial sector. Available traditional PID control system works on reactive control approach. That is PID aligns measured variable after a disturbance has occurred in process. Why AIML works on predictive approach? Yes, it senses process disturbance before it occurs and adjusts PID controller set point accordingly to nullify the effect of disturbance. How? Let's get a quick idea of what AIML is. Artificial intelligence basically a computer science technique or technology that allows the software to behave smart. In other words, to do things efficiently that seem human-like without feeling bored and repeatedly too. This includes things like making decisions, recognizing objects or understanding speech accurately more than a human is designed for. And machine learning, it is a set of artificial intelligence. Machine learning basically is a set of techniques that allows to create AI software by training that software with historical data to predict the outcome of a process. This is called supervised learning. This is very much similar to humankind where we predict things on our past experience and take decision accordingly. Another term, deep learning, is further the subset of machine learning which deals in image recognition and processing huge data to predict the image and is used for social media platform and uses faster CPUs, GPUs, cloud computing network and open source AIML deep learning algorithms. Now see the difference. Commercial or consumer market AIML model uses internet and social media data to predict your tests or future demand to generate more and more revenue. While industrial AIML collects data from field sensors and connected actuators that process the data using intelligent devices with simulated learnings. In broader term, we can say commercial AIML output is in digital form, a useful information or a data analysis. While the industrial AIML output is in the form of efficient physical operation of a process plant. As you all know, most PID controllers are used in production lines to match the major variable of a process to a given set point in real time and to get the intended process output, no matter how high is the process disturbance. There is a huge use of PID controller in process plant because most engineers understand how to carry out PID tuning of these three parameters based on past, present and future to control error. You can see on the screen behind a traditional PID controller block diagram that got a feedback sensor, comparator and a PID controller which manipulates the control variable to control the process. Now let's see how uh, AI replaces this traditional design. Here you can see a historical data set of plant parameters or inputs, basically temperature, pressure, flow, these are provided to the AI model for training purpose. These data are nothing, uh, nothing but a stored data on plant DCS server or historian server. The current state of also process is fed to the AI model by field sensor. You can also add other additional sensor to detect process disturbance as well or soft sensor can be programmed to detect process disturbance. These multiple sensors help to predict the process disturbance dynamically to enable the trained AI model for generating the best parameters set online. Here the most important part is the training of AI model based on the historical data you provided. All other things are nothing but a bunch of lines of if then else programming statement inside the AI model and passing the correction set point to the PID controller. Let's see how this AI model is trained on recorded data set. Here I tell you the game being played inside the AI model with an easy example. Suppose we have a resistance of 1 ohm. You can see on the screen. Consider this is a process plant. Host input is voltage and output is current flowing through it. Okay. One more condition to consider here is its ambient temperature around is 25 degrees centigrade. This will serve as a process disturbance in this example. Let's apply 1 volt across it. As per Ohm's law, the current of the size of 1 ampere will flow through this process or resistance. Okay. 
Likewise, at 2 volts, it will be 2 ampere and so on. This way, I collect 10 readings of voltage as inputs and 10 readings of output as current. If there is any variation in input output current due to variation in uh, ambient temperature variation that is also captured in readings. Now, I have historical data with me for this simple process that exhibits the behavior of this process. When I feed this historical data set to AI model, the AI model built around Python program libraries establishes a relationship between input and output readings and draws a straight line on a graph and stores in its memory. So this way AI model is learned about process behavior uh, that my process will behave like this. Now the question arises how would I know what relation the AI model has drawn between inputs and outputs is 100% accurate. So what I will do I will split the data set into two parts. And I will feed only 80% of historical data to AI model for training purpose and rest 20% data I will keep it with me for testing purpose. Okay. So here I will feed data till 8 voltage and rest 9 voltage and 10 voltage reading is with me for testing purpose. After the training the AI model with 80% of historical data, I will test the AI model with my test data available with me at 9 voltage and 10 voltage inputs. And we'll check if AI model is predicting the output data same as I have with me to be 9 ampere and 10 ampere current. Because if the AI model has drawn relation from 80% of data, then certainly test data will follow the same relation. Got it? If yes, then my AI model is working with 100% accuracy. So now if I apply 15 volt to the AI model, then certainly the AI model will predict output current to be 15, 15 ampere. From the straight line model it has drawn with historical training data set. Now if the ambient temperature of the resistance changes suddenly from 25 to 30 degrees centigrade then the resistance will go up also. This sudden change acts like a process disturbance to this resistance. If there were only traditional PID control then the change in resistance would have caused the change in current which further have been detected by feedback sensor. Then the PID controller had manipulated the voltage to bring the current to normal that were before ambient temperature change. You can see now it is a reactive approach. But trained AI model already has the learned behavior of current change due to ambient temperature variation. Because of this as soon as the AI model detects change in ambient temperature it starts changing set point of PID controller. In anticipation learned from past historical data that how temperature affects uh, output current and takes care of situation before the disturbance occurred to the process. Now you can uh, observe here it is a predictive approach but 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 things are not that easy. Historical data also contains some corrupt data due to malfunctioning of sensor or electrical interferences or something. So the AI model may get trained wrongly or behave abruptly. So before training AI model these values are identified as outliers and are deleted or replaced with the mean value of that parameter. This process is called pre-processing or cleaning the data and then it is fed to the AI model. After training and testing, I can deploy this AI model in process plant to predict the behavior of the process. Practically, the process is not simple as a sense with a single input and output. It may have multiple inputs and outputs and these inputs may sh uh, show some relation with each other. But while training the AI model, the most inflation inputs are chosen for training purpose only which affects the target output. While testing the AI model, if predictions are not matched with the test output data, the AI model is repeatedly adjusted with the biases and weights on input side until it behaves like your process. Testing is cumbersome process but one time only. Once this trained AI model will have all the learnings of your process is deployed further to control actuator variable by supplying set pad to PID controllers or directly controlling actuator to bring the output to desired uh, target variable for which this AI model has been trained. The AI model in the form of software uh, along with the SCADA for navigation, selection, training purpose is placed on PC that communicates with plant DCS or SCADA server through OPC communication as OPC lets you enjoy communication with uh, different third party vendors. Friends, it is yet not possible to cover whole plant to run by this AI model. Yet some of the quality or production related controllers can be handed over to AI model to get the enhanced output. This can be ensured by providing longer duration of historical data to get the best trend AI model. 
डाउट्स एंड क्यूरी इफ यू हैव यू कैन पोस्ट इन कमेंट सेक्शन श्योर वी विल डिस्कस एंड लर्न टुगेदर टिल देन कीप चेकिंग कीप शेयरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन अनलिमिटेड चैनल एंड वीडियोस इन योर सर्कल बाय बाय थैंक यू